Welcome to the Science Kid. I am your host, Quinn Friedman. And today, we're going to talk about something really small. The teeny tiny little atom. Before we talk about these tiny things, we have to understand electric charges. A few videos ago, we talked about matter. If you haven't checked out that video yet, click on the link in the description or click on the eye right up there. Matter has another property called electric charges. There are two types of electric charges. Positive and negative. Each charge likes to be attached with its opposite. So positive likes negative and the other way around. However, positives move away from other positives while negatives move away from other negatives. If you're ever playing with toy trains that attach to each other, you'll realize that one end is positive and the other is negative. If you try to attach the positives to positives or negatives to negatives, it won't work. Once we realize how electric charges work, we can talk about atoms. Atoms were once predicted to be the smallest particle of matter. Oh, not again. However, scientists have found that atoms are made of three things. Protons, neutrons, and electrons. If you ever learned about cells in our body, you'll realize that cells have a nucleus inside them. Atoms also have a nucleus inside them. It's kind of like the big brain of the atom. <laughs> the nucleus is made of neutrons and protons. Protons have a positive charge, while neutrons have no charge. Most of the atoms we know of have all of their protons and neutrons inside the nucleus. The neutrons have no charge, but give the atom more mass and weight. The last part of an atom are the electrons. The electrons are the smallest part of an atom. One tiny little electron is 1,836 times smaller than one of these huge protons. But remember, atoms are so tiny, we can't even see them. So imagine how small an electron may be. Electrons have a negative charge. Electrons move around the nucleus in circular motions. They don't attach to protons because, well, remember earlier, they're not a perfect match. There are different types of atoms, however. Different atoms have different amounts of electrons, protons, and neutrons. However, all atoms have the same amount of electrons and protons that counter themselves out. Like, if you did a math equation, plus 18 minus 18 equals zero. There are 18 protons and 18 electrons that counter themselves, allowing the atom to not fall apart. It doesn't mean the protons and electrons disappear. It just means they don't run away from each other or escape each other. I'm one favorite atom. I hope you enjoyed learning about the teeny tiny <coughs> atom. If you did enjoy learning about it, Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And by the way, this is not my usual background. Check out my other videos for my outside background. It was just so windy today I couldn't make it outside. Thank you guys for watching. And remember, science can always be fun.